All right. Is it actually working now? I've been trying to get this to work for several minutes and it has not been cooperating with me. Yay, it's working. Hi, Invariel. And is Roth? And Florian. Hey, glad you could join me this time, Florian. Blue and orange movie light. I like, I really like this lighting. Like this is, I just had this lighting on even before I started streaming. Uh, I got it for the stream because I wanted to light my face up so that I'm not streaming in a dark room. And then when I turned on the lights, I was like, you know what? This feels really good. I find it super relaxing. And yeah, it's got a movie poster thing going. So, uh, in the past streams, I've had like all these big plans. Oh, I want to show off this. I want to show off this. I want to show off this. I don't have any plans like that. But I have a, I have a couple things I want to do. But basically, I'm out of... There's no way I'm actually out of things to say about this game. But I'm out of things that I anticipate I will have to say about this game. I'm out of pent up things. And so, I don't know, we're just gonna like stream for a while and dick around and this is gonna be our last of our time in GTA. I'm now streaming at 720p. It should be smil It should be silky smooth for you. Soon Seamus sets up blue and orange lights all over his house. I would. My wife hates LEDs. They make her feel sick. And she loves it super, super bright in the room. I mean, she just loves flooding a room with white light. And of course, I just... Ugh. I feel awful. It feels oppressive, like an interrogation. And I just have to... Assume. She loves the sunshine. I like being in a dark room. So, uh... Yeah, lighting the rest of the house... Not gonna happen. And the stream is silky smooth. Great. Alright. To my shame, last time I uh, streamed this game, I was looked like Lynch from Kane and Lynch. And that was just too embarrassing when I realized that. Um... Oh, good. Frame rate is great. <laughs> if you need that helmet later. I just won't have one. I have no pants. Um, this is a good look for Trevor. This seems appropriate. All right. Um, here's this unfinished quest, and I know I want to drive us to the desert because we haven't spent much time in the desert, and I kind of want to take this trip. So just to get a sense of how big this world is, let's just do this quest. It's not really any spoil. I mean, it's a tiny spoiler for one quest that you only get after the end of the game. Anyway, let's see. Uh, what time is it? It's We're about to tick over to being street... It says I've been streaming for about five minutes. I want to see how long it's going to take us to drive to the other end of the world. Last time I tried to do this on stream, uh, it, no, it didn't crash. It Twitch stopped working and the stream went down, interrupted everything and ruined our science. Find 720, 60p is better than, huh. Form year? I don't know. I This is literally my first time streaming. I mean, I tried to stream at 1080p, um, 60 frames a second, and that just wasn't working. So then I went down to 30, and it, uh, it's still, but I took the game down to... 720p but kept the stream at 1080p and now the stream itself is at 1080p and so the game is being 
downscaled to even smaller than that. I don't know. I haven't done all. I haven't done all of the comparisons. But this feels pretty good. The game is smoother even for me. Is it hard to get your hands on a helicopter? Why don't you watch where I'm going? Is it hard to get your hands on a helicopter? I know where one is. Is that really a speed trap? If I blew by, by, by those guys, would they try to pull me over? That's crazy. Um, maybe we can stop and pick up a helicopter later. I've never found flying helicopters in any game to be particularly fun. So I'm not the person to ask of how are the flight controls. Because I never like flying helicopters. The whole trade-off between looking at the ground and going fast or you know looking at the horizon and going slow is just drives me crazy is this undertale obviously skull gun skull gun yeah skull gun is that a skull gun? Is that a reference to Diamond Age? Is that a Neil Stevenson deep cut, or is that just a random name you chose for yourself? Not to Diamond Age, to Deus Ex. I, w I don't remember anybody named Skull Gun. <gasps> there was a Skull Gun in the original Deus Ex, wasn't there? I don't think I ever took that upgrade. Anyway, in the book Diamond Age, which is one of, the, I think, predates Deus Ex. So maybe Deus Ex was a reference to Diamond Age, and I've overlooked it all these years. Gunther Herman asked for one in an email, is that it? Huh. It's been years since I played that game. I don't think I've played it in this decade. What are these people doing? All right, so that took about four minutes. I got the meds, Mom! Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, Mother! So Trevor's upset. Who's it going to switch back to now? This is Franklin. Damn, baby, you sure you don't want to join me? I am glad to find him wearing his suit. Um, one of the things that always frustrated me when I was playing through this game yeah we'll, we'll cruise around as, as Franklin for a while one of the things is I tried to always play the characters against type I tried to get Michael into slobby t-shirts and stuff and I tried to get Franklin to wear you know really nice suits and tried to turn him into a James Bond and you know, I'd buy him a $3,000 suit, and then I'd switch over to Trevor. And Well, for one thing, you can't make Trevor look nice. 
You can put nice suits on them, but they don't fit, and he wears them wrong, and it's all screwed up, and he'll have a, one corner un, untucked. No, I don't want to talk to you, Tamisha. So you can't make Trevor look like a human being. He has to look like a crazy person. But then Franklin, every time I switched away and played as one of the other characters, I'd come back to him, and he's once in a while dressed in his hood clothes, even if he's up in the Vinewood Hills, and he's working as an international assassin or whatever he's doing. No, still, still dressing in his hood clothes, and that always frustrated me. Yeah, it is sort of uh, funny watching Trevor run into the trailer after you took that long, slow trip. Can we just switch back to... Yes, we can. Let's find out what Trevor's doing. Oh, nothing. Smoking some... I don't actually know what that is that he's smoking. Is it... Crack? Meth? I, I don't know how drugs work. I assume it has to be something hardcore. Smoking potpourri. Oh, man, that'll really screw you up. All right, time to do a little more science now that we're trashed. Oh, oh no, come back. We need your car for science. Please, please, please. Oh, I'm so trashed. I can't get you. <laughs> he got into... The That's true. That's true. He was... I was... He put on some pants. And a dirtier shirt. And parked his car sideways. Wow. Unlike when you get drunk. When you get really screwed up in this game. You get absolutely blind drunk. You can't even get out of your... Like if you get drunk in your house. By the time you reach the garage you'll have sobered up. It's so unsatisfying. Sometimes the world makes my head spin. But this is... This is sticking with... Oh, no. It's done now. Alright. Now we're going to do a little science. Somebody in the last stream asked... Where's Trevor's house? I lost, I lost track of the road when I was blind... Not drunk. High. Whatever, stoned. Whatever you call that when he smokes whatever that was and got screwed up in whatever that it kind of being inebriated is. All right, so this is a car I was driving. We're gonna quick save. Now the question is, like we did that test last week where you save while you're riding the train and you load it and you're still floating in the air, but the train has vanished out from under you and you just fall down to the ground. Will that happen with a car that you've been driving? And then we're going to do a test and see if it'll happen with a car that you haven't been driving. He's in the car. In the car. I would not, I would have guessed either he's moved beside the car 
or he's still on top of the car, or most likely, if I was going to put money on it, I would have guessed that the car vanished and he falls down to the ground. And instead, he magically transports inside the car with the engine running. I... That would have been my very last guess for what was going to happen in this situation. All right, excuse me, sir, now. No, 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 you have to come back for science. Oh! Oh, no! Ah! Nope! Dang it! So annoying! Look, all I want to do is take someone's vehicle and stand on it. Here we go, here we go. This is our first customer. This is exactly what we want. This is good, the car's moving too. So what happens when we reload this? <laughs> Your insurance? Don't be so judgy. Go back to your whole shit, dick. Can you blow up the car this way? I was just wondering that myself, Florian. In the old games, I think this would have done it. You know what? Maybe if we... No. You guys are so violent. I like that they're not shooting me. Reach for the sky, buddy. Enough of you. Now, now. Don't leave it. Son of a bitch. You made me go out my gun. This ends now. Shoot into position. Locked and loaded. Let's see those hands right now. You disgust me. This is taking a while. You're dead. This should be. Oh uh, no! I was pressing the pause game button. All right. So apparently, it takes a long time to kick a vehicle into exploding, assuming that can even happen. Now, we were on top of that guy's vehicle when we saved, so now we load it. So what happens? Will that vehicle disappear or will we displace him in the driver's seat? Oh, good tea. Read some chat. Oh, and the car, this is what I expected. The car disappears. So if it's a car you've driven, it gets flagged as, hey, hang on to this, the player is using it. And if you're on top of it, it'll just put you in the driver's seat. But if you haven't gotten into the vehicle, then it's just scenery and the game uh, doesn't bother saving it. Whoa, Ron is here. It's not a quest. There's not a quest marker there. I'm afraid of walking up to him and starting a quest, though. We don't want to do that. 
You know what we do want to do? We want to call a cab. Yo, you know what? We can drive there. No, that's a big drive. That's a big drive. Never mind. Call a cab. In Vario, in my experience, the, the flag that marks a car is keep this around can apply to two vehicles at any given time. So if I, like this one is marked as mine now. It'll hang around here for a while. In fact, I don't think it clears based on time. If I get in this vehicle over here, it will also be mine. But then if I get in a third vehicle, this first one will disappear. Where are you headed, homie? Sanon. Okay, buddy. Uh disp Radis. Yeah, um I don't normally call cabs, but you know, we're doing a stream and I don't want you guys to like watch me drive for hours and hours. Like there's a lot to do, a lot of things to see, a lot of things to talk about. So keep it moving. I, I actually like driving. I like just, you know, just driving. Not even, not even just to shoot up the neighborhood, but sometimes I enjoy sh driving in a way that doesn't kill hundreds of people. That's sometimes fun too. And we just missed it. I knew that would happen. Jerk. Getting some Pilates here before we go. Oh yeah, here's one of my favorite things to do. Is this super derpy... <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. That actually happens very often when you're kind of... Um, the jump button is the same as the dodge button. So if you get into a fist fight, with somebody and you hit the dodge and the game thinks you're too far away to dodge it will instead jump so it produces this incredibly stupid effect where I'm like you know duking it out with some guy and I take a few steps away hit dodge and instead Trevor just flings himself at a wall and then ragdolls down onto his butt and <laughs> the other person's like trying to fight you and you've just done this ridiculous thing and it's like they don't know what to think So if you look at the road in the background, um, how do I change the view? It told me, but. Oh, well, let's skip it. All right, well, we're up here. We can look at it now. If you look down here, you can see uh, cars. Sarcastic air quote cars. This is the same trick I used in Pixel City. You put some red and white dots. You can tell this isn't really proper traffic. Um, because they're even... Like, when the, this game spawns traffic, it's very clumpy. You know, you never, like... Look at this long stretch of empty road with one car. When the player's down there driving around, you never see that. 
it, you're just constantly passing cars and passing cars. There's cars taking up space on the road on in both directions. The road is never this empty. But, you know, they added this as a way of just making the world look busy and active at a distance. Have I played other GTAs as extensively? I played a lot of th three. I played... A lot of three, a lot of Ice City, a lot of San Andreas, and I bounced hard off of uh, GTA 4. Just. Alright, let's have a little peyote. I have no idea how peyote works. Can you just, like, go up to a plant on the ground and eat it? Does that work? I always assumed you had to prepare it in some way. Okay, let's party! <gasps> oh! Oh, my lord! Look at you, T! No one is laughing at you now. Instead, you're laughing at everyone. They're fools! Pathetic fools! I did this earlier and I turned into a chicken. I didn't realize there was more than one thing. They're wretched. You're perfect. They're awful. This is pretty cool. This is way cooler than being a chicken. Look, I don't want this to end. Woo! This is fun. Ta Speaking of fun flight mechanics, this is fun. I am. This feels really good. It. Yeah, I love this. I don't want it to end. I'm gonna do this for a couple minutes and just, just uh, yeah, just do do it a little more. Hey there, winged buddy. How's it going, fellow bird? What are we doing today? You're a different kind of bird. Um, all right. What? My weapon selection wheel doesn't work. So this would be a great time to get out my shotgun. GTA, f uh... Dr. McHead. GTA 4 is just too punishing. No checkpoints. The missions aren't that different from GTA 5, though. Yeah, GTA 4... A lot of what made GTA 4 unfun for me was, yes, that very punishing thing, but just how sluggish the game felt. Like, th they were so proud of their physics engine that they really cranked it up to where just a normal car... When you just go around a bend at a normal speed, like you're trying to drive normally, and the car will like have this 20 degree tilt to it. And it's like real cars don't, can you imagine what it would be like if cars actually tilted that hard? Everyone would get car sick all the time. So cars handled like boats. The shooting was super sluggish and, you know, realistic. And yeah, there was just, it didn't feel good to play. They just sacrificed so much in the name of realism. Oh. When you land, you, you turn back into a Trevor. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty groovy. Oh man. I'll have to remember to do drugs in the future. People say video games cause violence. No, obviously they don't. They cause drug abuse. It's completely different. Uh, what's going on with Sudoku? For those who are following me on this stream, I made a puzzle game. It's all finished. It's ready to go. I could put it on the Steam store. But Steam uh, insists that I 
start a business. So they, they don't want to deal with the private individual. You have to form a business before you can sell a game. That's fine. Okay, I'll form a business. But PA, where I live, Pennsylvania, is a little weird about businesses. Uh, fun fact, PA in all of the United States... PA has the lowest number of new businesses. That, and it's not so much that the taxes are high. I don't know. The taxes aren't great, I don't think. But it's just little fussy regulations. And we've had a hard time sort of managing the triangle of steam and the bank and the business and the state. And each of them want their own different thing and there's a lot of paperwork and for about three months Heather has been trying to like start this business and she goes to the PA site and they're like oh we're sorry that the site to create your business isn't available now oh wait it makes you fill out the form first and then when you're all done after you know 10 minutes of work then it tells you oh sorry it's not working so she finally calls them she's like hey um your website's down yeah we know any idea when it's going to be, you know, fixed so we can start a business? No. No idea. So, um, yeah, so, so then we decided, well, I guess we just have to send them a letter in the mail. So that's what we did. And they said it takes four weeks to get a reply, which means it probably takes a fiscal quarter. So, yeah, it's just, and this is bad luck for us. I wanted to parachute down here and you could see the whole glorious world, you know, maybe even as the sun rises, but no, it's all foggy. And so we're floating in a gray void. Well, that sucks. Where did Trevor store his parachute? He keeps it under the minigun. There's a space right between the minigun and the rocket launcher, and he tucks it right in between those two. It fits perfectly. There we can see some stuff. Oh, wow, we are over the water. Well, no turning back now. Let's just keep it going. Now we know. I wondered if you died, if you plunged into the water, if it would do the video game thing where you... Um, there was no sense in writing that out since it was all foggy and it wasn't really a cool scene. Oh wait. Before we do that, we need to go shopping. <laughs> I guess we're jogging. Ninety three, was that a kill plane? I think that was falling damage. I mean you can go there and swim in that space, so young lodger he took in doesn't sleep in his own room most of the night, if you get my drift. You hear a lot, don't you, Melvin? I can only assume you're the one who's been spreading the malicious rumors about me no no i would never do that what rumors oh the antisocial behavior psychopathic outbursts killing sprees and killing those sprees are, are rumors mm. you tell me i'd rather just stick to the business at hand if you don't mind i hate my life you know things are bad when ma turns you down for a date All right, now we gotta. Ah, damn! Did you lose a very big bet? Ah. See there, that's what it looks like. 
when you try to dodge. And... Oh! Right in the happy sack. Oh, again, Trevor, you are a bad man. You know, I realize we don't need this. I'm calling a cab. One of your finest taxi cabs, please. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Comparing San Andreas to this game, I'm not sure. I think I had a little more tolerance for bullshit back then. I think. I think on balance, San Andreas was probably worse, but my tolerance was higher. Um, there's the the motorcycle chase with Oglock, OG Loke. There's the one with Big Smoke, where you... Um, uh, where you, all you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ! That one. The infamous one. Uh, that everybody hates. There's a few of those in San Andreas that are super frustrating. How realistic... Florian, these gun stores are ridiculous. Um, guns are kept inside of cabinets. They're locked up. Um, there's a lot of paperwork to do if you buy a gun. Of course, it's, it's a little different in every state. Um, it probably seems extremely permissive to somebody from Europe, but yeah, nothing compared to this game. This game's pretty silly. Oh yeah, there are, and yeah, the idea of buying a minigun or a rocket launcher or any of that stuff is, is pretty silly. The automatic weapons, no, you're not getting that without special licenses and... You have to, like, prove that you're the kind of person that's allowed to... You know, like, if you're... Certain kinds of professions are allowed to carry weapons like that. Having said that, uh, I've never been in a gun store. I lived one block from a gun store kind of out in a rural area and they had a gun range so every once in a while we'd hear somebody testing out some firearms but uh i never went in guns are expensive man we can skip this trip seamus you don't need to do that and we already have parachutes now, I should have a parachute and a reserve shoot. Reserve shoot. So. This is a good time to go to do skydiving. Except I kind of want to go this way. Because then we'd be going into the sunset. But I don't. I think there's a good ledge for that. Screw it. What's the worst that could happen? We'll die. We'll get better. Let's uh let's give this a try. Actually. You want to do something really stupid? Let's do something stupid together. Let's make mistakes together. That worked better than I might have guessed. Oh, wow. And with the motorbike. Yeah. This is a relaxing stream. Is that the military base? Am I going to get a wanted level if I go over it? We're going to do some more science. <laughs> it's the GTA version of abandoning Yoshi. Oh no wait, that's not the uh, military base. That's the... 
lumber mill, isn't it? Yeah, there's the track. There's the little shack. Right, right by Trevor's foot is a little white building. That has a dirt bike right beside it. Um, so if you find yourself out in the wilderness, aim for that place. Once in a while you end up on one of these misadventures skydiving off a dirt bike or something idiotic. And, uh, yeah, you like, oh man, I should have thought this through. I don't have a vehicle and I don't want to walk. Oh, is that the altruist cult? Ahead of us? Like I said last time, there's a guy in there that has no pants and he's full frontal male nudity. And I don't want to go in there and then I won't be able to I'll get flagged for putting dirty stuff on stream and I won't be able to upload this to YouTube. But maybe I just kind of want to drift over it. Yes, that is the altruist camp. Let me see where that is. I always lose track of this place. Right there. Every time I come up here, I'm like, where is it? It's somewhere around here. That little bit. Wow, this is nice. I can can you believe I have this game the graphics are set to basically garbage to keep the stream smooth and even when this game looks like garbage it still looks fantastic. Oh, there's the end of the game. That little that little dead end in the dirt there. That little circle path there. I won't tell you what happens there. But you'll be standing there when the credits roll. The ending of this game is pretty underwhelming. Now, can we land on a vehicle? Because that would be cool. Nope, nope, not going to happen. Excuse me. This is just a robbery. Bonk. This was originally on the 360 and the PS3. You know what? I want to do more science. You guys ever see the cheesy um, 80s flick Navy Seals? Um, I had a reserve shoot. Well, it didn't work out. I thought I had another sh parachute. I know I've, I've done it before where you parachute and then you like drop out of the parachute and then you've got one more because you've got your reserve shoot. And I really thought I was going to have a shoot to pull there and I wanted to see if it could bring me to a stop. But no, I just went face first onto the rocks. Well, now we know. Important safety, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. No, no, boo, no. I am really good at face planting on those rocks. Wow. Can you imagine? I've never driven anything like this. This would be amazing to drive. It would be completely nerve-wracking. Like, you wouldn't be able to see the road underneath you. You are so high up in this thing. It would be like driving a semi. What do people do in vehicles like this? Because, I mean, it would suck to, like, you've got all this carrying capacity, but it would be terrible to, like, go out and get groceries in this thing. You'd have to lift them up so far and then back down. If you put them in the tail, then they'll all just roll around. You put them in the cab with you, and you've got to load each bag individually. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it would be like. Huh, I wonder what I'm driving on. Is there a road underneath my wheels? Hard to say. 
What was that? Hard to tell. Oh wait, there's a, there's a marker on my map. There's a marker on my map. I'm worried it might be an armored vehicle. It is! Alright, um, we have to do this. Where'd he go? Okay. There. We are right across the street from the police station. This was not a premeditated crime, I will admit. Yeah, they're, they're gonna find me. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right, we don't see the suspect in the area. There's a completely unsuspicious 4x4 plowing through a fence near here, but he's obviously unrelated to the crime we're investigating. The double homicide that we're investigating here. Oh, train's coming. I've tried stealing the armored vehicle before. It's a little dodgy because sometimes it's locked and I can't figure out what the rules are of when it's locked. So now, really it seems like the most expedient way of dealing with it is just murder the drivers. Yeah, yeah, I believe I picked up some money. Uh, there was a suitcase on the ground. I hope I ran over it. In the in my rush to murder people, excuse me, um, I hope I didn't forget the money. I mean, I got the murders done, which is obviously what's most important here, but it's nice to get the money. Wow, it is just foggy today. So, I've never been to, um, California. Don't know anything about it. I've never seen these kinds of farms in real life. Is this a vineyard? I always thought vineyards had, you know, like, vines. But uh, just because this game is so interested in making the most stereotypical thing possible, everybody thinks Northern California vineyards of course so i assume that's what they would put in the game even though i'm sure you can find farms in the north where they grow you know i don't know cabbages or whatever but this isn't what i imagined a, a, a vineyard would look like Looks more like strawberries. It is really hard to tell. I think they're growing tire treads here based on this texture map. That was close. Oh. Don't text and drive, kids. Don't say anything. I want to surprise them. The whole game is Southern California, actually. Even, like, the pine trees and stuff. Because it looks a little Pacific Northwest to me. But again, I've never been to, like, Mount Chiliad here and with its pine trees. Oh, I was really hoping to get that. Oh, I did! I got him! Okay, good. Yeah, that cement mixer. I wanted to make sure to blow that up. The cops? You're kidding! 
That was illegal? Well, I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Oh, that's not on me. I don't know why that blew up. Nice driving. If we find another car, we could switch off. And that would shake these guys. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get in, get in, get in. <laughs> a policeman came up behind me and then turned so he didn't see this carjacking I just did. Alright, they forgot about it. Who can remember that bus explosion? That was five minutes ago. Who can remember back that far? Let's not dwell on the past. Oh, can we just steal shit from the police directly? Speed is too dated a reference. Right. I was thinking of speed earlier today. Actually, I was thinking of this, of the Simpsons joke where Homer goes, this is just like Speed 2, except with a bus instead of a boat. Let's go up the mountain again. Worked very well. I like that. I knew what I wanted to do in that town. There was a reason I was dicking around in that town. I meant to buy armor. I keep losing my armor. And I know one of these days I'm going to start to get impatient and start rampaging. Because it's been... Jeez, it's been almost half an hour since I murdered somebody. And I just I can't cope with it. Did we get a parachute? We did not. Oh wait, there's one up there. Oh, there's that little white building with the motorcycle beside it. I also, when I want to get off the train after I've been blowing up helicopters, this is a great place to jump off the train. You're isolated from the road, but there's wheels there for you. Yes. All right, now, what I'd like to do, can we, can we jump this direction? Yes, we can. It's kind of the direction we jumped before. I guess I was thinking, I guess I was forgetting just how many hills there are between us and the city. Oh well. We'll make it work. Or we'll die. Either way, it'll be fun. Does this bug you, me being in your personal space? Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? You make me want a lobotomy. You dumbass. Idiot! You asshole. You make me want to emigrate. You depressing afterthought. You're a waste of space on this earth. <laughs> you pile of sick! All right, let's see if anybody else wants to meet Trevor. You are utterly ridiculous. You hideous mistake. You're a total moron. What? 
Oh, I thought he jumped to his death, but no, he just ran down. Yeah, I know if I tried to follow him, that would be death for me. Oh, there's where we were just a minute ago. The uh, tire tread form. Uh, you have to press a button. You press right on the D-pad to insult people. What? No. A hipster zombie. A hipster zombie. What? Idiot. Typical. You moron. I've tried and shits with more brains. You puddle of vomit. Listen, nobody likes you. All right. Well, that went well. I feel better. I find that tearing down other people and making them feel worse is a great way to make myself feel better. So that was fantastic. I feel great. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see it on stream. Oh, and it's done. Farewell, bike. You were fun for three seconds. Let me see if I can figure out what some of these places are. I think that space right in front of Trevor. Like, if you look through the triangle of his cables, I think that's the trailer park where he blows up the lost MC. <clears throat> the, uh... It's a big murder. It's actually the Sticky Bomb tutorial. There is, I think, the bridge that Michael... Oh, that's cool. There it is. Airplane. Fun fact... Uh, your heat-seeking missiles will not lock onto those. I, they're, I think they're just scenic. I don't think they interact with the game world. Down in this place, looking through this, uh, Trevor and Michael go down there and blow up a train or something at some point in the game. So, ask some questions, chat. We're, we're not going to touch down for a while. This is pretty, though, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, here's where we stepped off the train the other day in the stream. I think I was streaming when I did that. Form your, yeah, you're right. The trains are clearly invincible because they're, yes. <gasps> oh, here, here's what we have to do. We have to land on this. Or we could get hit by it. You know what? That was worth it. That was. Yeah, the new plan, uh, the trains are invincible in this game. There's nothing you can do. If you get onto a train, there's nothing you can do. Your explosions won't scratch it. It will never slow down, change course, or do anything differently. It just keeps going. You can even assassinate the guy in operating the train, and it doesn't change anything. And I don't even think it gives you a wanted level. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the truck, ma'am. Or sir. Bullshit. The fuck is wrong with you?
Oh. You know what? You guys look like you have too much self-esteem. Come on, do your thing, Trevor. Tell them they suck. He, he's not doing it. I'm pressing the insult button. I like turtle. Right. Did you lose a very big bet? Yeah, Moron. I'll you are an I'll idiot. Do. I'll do it. Listen, even your parents can't stand you. You are an asshole. Oh, you give me hives. You chump. Oh, you really suck. Brainless fool. You're not How excited. are you allowed to walk the streets, moron? Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? He said outside the gun store. Holy shit. Can we just get this over with? I've had a really crappy day. What kind of customer service is that, Melvin? Is there something in particular you're interested in? Yes. Actually, there is. What do you recommend for killing a man in the most agonizing way imaginable? Because I am more than happy to end your crappy day right now. I'm sorry. Trip. Let's go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this, this particular place, since it's right near Trevor's house. <clears throat> excuse me. This particular gun store has all of this special dialogue. You know, just for Trevor and the guy who owns the place. You don't get a funny conversation like that at all the ammunitions. It's just that one for Trevor. There's also a similar idea for the one in Pillbox Hill. If you go in as Franklin, the guy's like, oh, wow, you must lead. So he assumes that Franklin is this gangbanger that, you know, is always killing cops and, and shooting people and having all these adventures. Which is true, but he's just assuming it because, because you know, he's watched too many movies. I don't know where we're going. I do know where we're going. We're going to the beach. First, I want to check in here. Just stay away from me, okay? Fool. Whatever. Twat! You scumbag? Come on, then. Make me oh, suffer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're going to fight each other? Well, I guess not. What is this ridiculous madness? Nobody can hit anybody else because there's a doorway partly in the way. Oh, yes. Take that, buttock. Well, now I can't... I have no idea what happened in there. That that escalated and just got completely out of control. I just wanted to stop by and insult a few people. Honestly, why does everything have to be so hard? Now we've got to kind of, like, shake the cops. Because they're going to half-heartedly chase me. Once we get rid of them, we'll call a cab. Hey, Soldier Hawk. It is fun to be streaming this week, Soldier Hawk. So normally I don't, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't be streaming Saturday nights, but I have Saturday, Saturday nights blocked off for recording the diecast. But because of some scheduling weirdness, we had to record it earlier in the week. So that left me with my Saturday night wide open. And, oh. I wasn't paying attention to the police. And now they're following me. Or they know about me. Or they, they know where I am. I've got a super escape plan. 
What if we do something so dumb they couldn't possibly predict it? Um, I think, new plan, I think that was the military base. And if you go near it, you get, like, a super wanted level. Have I done, oh, this is a question, Isaroth, have I done any ex experiments with Unity? Um, I have not, oh, damn it! I have done no experiments with Unity. But I really want to. I've got this um, procedural city stuff that I just can't stop thinking about. But I have so much writing to do. And, I mean, you, you might say, well, why are you streaming? Well, the thing of it is, streaming is, you know, an hour here, an hour there. No big deal. Um, coding, when you start coding, when I start coding, I don't know how any other people code... I can't just code for an hour. I need to code for a day and a half. Preferably while doing as little sleeping as possible. Well, it looks like we're walking. So, and I do not have days and days to spare on programming. As much as I'd like to do it. So, I, I'm deliberately trying to not program right now. Blood scroll, yes. The thing about coding is you spend... Uh, somebody made the case, and I never realized this was true. When you're coding, unless you're starting a brand new code base, if, you, you know, if you're working on something even remotely mature, as in it's got a few more than a few weeks into it, um, you spend most of your t time coding, actually reading code. You spend more time reading code than writing code. And that's very true. Um, and that's also sort of demoralizing. <laughs> you spend a lot of your time not making progress, but looking for where you need to go to make progress. It's like an MMO where you spend all your time hiking to where you have to go to do the quest. And then the quest itself takes two minutes. And then it's another half hour hike to the next one. Yes, it is. It, it is a Tesla Roadster kind of thing. It feels good to drive. It's, it's an electric car because it's really quiet. I'd buy one so that I had it available for driving all the time. But <clears throat> like I said during last stream, uh, buying cars in this game is a stupid waste of money and dumb. And broken. And all the parts are in the game to make it work properly. But, like, they didn't think it through. So now you buy a car, you blow a quarter million dollars on it. And then something goes wrong. And it vanishes forever. And the only way you can own a car is if you commit yourself to putting away your toys when you're done with them. And that's realistic. And it's not fun in the context of a video game. Especially not this kind of video game. All you had to do was stay in your lane. I, I would have handled driving around you. I hate when they get spooked and they dart across lanes and end up running into you. There's a similar thing in Grand Theft Auto 3. Where as... If, if you ever played Grand Theft Auto 3... And you notice like sometimes you'll be just driving around and somebody will dive in front of your car. And you'll run them over. And I'll be like, hey, that was... They jumped literally out into the street. And what I realized is it was the AI flaking out. When you're going around a bend, like let's say you're going around a corner like this.
for a split second the car is pointed at a couple pedestrians and they're not able to like plot the curve that you're driving they just look and know that your car is pointed at them and so they jump perpendicular to the path you're on which if you're coming around a corner means sometimes that path going perpendicular will send them into the street so they end up jumping under your wheels and giving you a wanted level and, and screwing everything up for you. Really, Mafia 3 has that stupid pedestrian behavior? That's atrocious. Okay, that was forgivable in 2001, but come on. You know what? Let's let's charge up our self-esteem. I think you should give up. Nobody likes you. You asshole. Did you lose a very big bet? Why oh why do you exist? Listen, even your parents Shit. can't stand you. You know you don't look tough, sugar tits. You look like a moron. Keep it you up. chump. You are such an ass. You fool. Oh, fuck. Go and hurt yourself. Come on. Punish me. All right. Looks like you're SOL, asshole. Get fisted. No, I ain't seen none yet, but you know who I'm looking for. You little fuck. I'm loving the style, but everybody saw that already out here. Piece of shit. This is childish. Oh, don't read chat and grief somebody. Oh, wait, you, you, you're done punching me? All right, I'll put the gun away. How's your day going? You make me want a lobotomy, you dumbass. Idiot! Turn! Shit. You are utterly ridiculous. You pile of shit! You make me want to emigrate. You Can you bait him mistake. into punching somebody else? I think I've done it. I was doing this earlier today. Oh, you give me high. And uh, I did see two people start fighting, and I think it was because I was running between a couple of guys, and one of them tried to punch me. Whatever, dude. Hey, pork chop. How's it going? Please, let's just chat about this. I said, how's it going, pork chop? Brainless fool. You are an idiot. I like how many <clears throat> how many individualized insults they've got. Listen, nobody likes you. They've got ones for females, they've got ones for heavy people, they've got ones for guys with muscles. You look like a cunt. Okay, sugar. Jerry, it's me. Oh wow. Looking crazy. Did 
does Rockstar license the GTA engine? No. The GTA engine is called Rage, apparently. It's an acronym for something. Rockstar Active Game Engine something. I don't remember the acronym, but that's probably something like that. Hey, hard man! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, I said, fuck you! Keep it up. Fucking asshole! Yeah, this is so fucking lame. What the fuck? I'll kick your cooler, oh yeah? I know Tai Chi. Sorry for the shooting. The men all crowded around the set. Ah! Damn it. Good. You are a lost cause. You say that too? No, you saw that shit. I totally agree. Pardon me? Well, you're a nobody. You are just brainwashed. Nobody likes you. I told you I knew you were not stupid. You are not fooling anyone. Fuck, you don't look tough, pal. Tony Ma, you my dude, right? Idiot. You fool! I feel like Wild Bagger the infinitely prolonged. I'm just gonna insult everyone on the beach. Nobody's buying the hard man act, pal. You're Turn. an asshole. Hey, Whatever. Hey, you moron! Back the next day. Oh, you make me want a lobotomy. Like I care. Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? Go and home, fuck man. yourself. Get a life. You are an annoying uh, shit. Loser. Uh, Come on. Whatever. Punish One me. Bada. Come on. You're in a shit now. Uh, Michael doesn't insult people. Michael and Trevor are when you press that same button. They're always like, "Hey, how you doing, buddy?" Or, "Hey, how's it going, sweetheart?" You look like an ugly woman having a really bad menstrual cycle. You want to taste the Tai Keep it up, aren't you? Look, man, make me cry, okay? Come on, you need to make find me cry. Draw. Oh, that's so I fucking lame. I'll kick your cooler, oh yeah? I know Watch where you're going. Oh, you're a real jerk. Why, oh, why do you exist? Oh, that earned me a one level. And he was a one-punch chump. Come on, after all that talk about Tai Chi, this is, this is what you give me? Oh, his hat flew off. That's why I love doing this. That's really what it's all about, is getting out here and removing hats. Yeah, that's what I think of you wearing a hat. Oh, you got a hat on? Not anymore. Oh, nice hat, buddy. I'm kidding. It was terrible. Oh, oh, hat. Not hat. Oh, guess what? Should have known better than to wear a hat today. Oh, excuse me, sir. I couldn't help noticing your hat. Oh, that, nope, that's not a hat. You just have dumb hair. I will not hit you with a hammer for that. Oh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. I thought that was, I thought that was a hat. I got excited. No, that was a wrong, that wasn't my fault. Trevor... Decided to hit the wrong person. Oh. Oh. No more hat for you. Oh, I see him. I see him. It's a hat wearer. Oh. No hat for you. Good night. That was my wife going to bed. I like her. 
She's a nice lady. <clears throat> oh, that's a hat. That's a hat. Yeah, I thought it was a headband, but no, it's a hat. Uh-oh. They called a helicopter on me. I'll be back to settle up with the rest of you hat wearers later. Mwahahaha. So I hope nobody in chat is asking me questions because I seem to have got... <laughs> Oh, bad luck, buddy. You weren't even wearing a hat. I seem to have gotten myself into a spot of trouble. I'm sure this will blow over soon, but... Oh, this one's tough. got away with it. From a toad to a prince. I wish you could like paint your car plaid or something. Just to be an idiot. My favorite part about that chasing people wearing hats are the people that haven't decided they want to run away yet and they look over their shoulder and they just hurry away. I love that. That's such a cool touch. That was a bad place for a frame stutter. Oh, sorry. But a helmet technically counts as a hat. I don't need to refill my ammo um, because we, we didn't use any bullets. I think my, my hammer doesn't need any bullets. Do you need to buy replacement parachutes? Thank you. Thank you, Invariel. Yes, I do. I haven't gotten the reserve shoot thing to work yet. I, I know it got, I know I've seen it work before, but 
I know I don't have a chute now. And we might come to a bridge at some point and... Whatever. Now don't get too crazy with that, you hear? Don't get too crazy with the parachute. That was terrible. But oddly, I escaped unscathed and I didn't even really lose much momentum. Hang on a second. Uh, no, you folks are good. No hats. All right. Glad to see this part of the city is clean. Nope. Oh, oh no, here's a tricky puzzle. Oh, no, hammer. Can we get somebody seated? And will their hat fly off in an amusing way? No. That was incredibly disappointing. Now she's wearing the hat forever. <sighs> that is, I've been defeated. That is, that is a defeat for the hat police. That's just in case any of those people were wearing hats. Wow. Wow. I got to I just You know what? You can go. You are bad enough to you were a badass enough to stay on your motorcycle after that. I'm, I'm not going to mess with you. Been a while since I caught up with chat. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Wow, I've missed a lot. I thought it was only a couple minutes, but it's like... Been a while. Oh! No! This is my- I guess my hat scanner activated. Oh, you people are talking about your colors in chat. I could not figure out what this color talk was. <gasps> Assault on civilian. They didn't even mention the hat. The cops in this city are so corrupt. They'll let somebody walk around with a hat on and not do anything. The whole system's rotten. Wow. I've been streaming for an hour and a half and you folks are still with me. You guys are gluttons for punishment. You know what? I'm up for streaming some more, but uh, I feel like I need, I need to stretch and I feel like I need more tea. So how about I take a two minute break and then I'll come back. Alright, Victual Squid, I'm not going to end the stream. 
I'm just gonna take a little break and you guys can watch Trevor watch people. I'll be right back. And we're back. Welcome back to the Hatcast, everyone. Today's episode, we are... That was a cap. Like a, a knit cap. I, I'm not sure I understand the physics of how... Oh, there's blood. Ugh. Um, of how knocking somebody down makes a knit cap pop into the air, but I'll accept it. What's interesting here is I bopped somebody on the head. Now, here we are in the hood. And I bopped somebody, clearly killed them in broad daylight. And you'll notice no police care. If I'd done that, you know, I do that at the at the beach, it's generally an instant wanted level. I don't know if that's deliberate or if it just has to do with population density and behavior, but it it's an interesting thing if that's deliberate. Still talking about chat colors. That's fine. I what I'm really glad is everybody everybody here is nice readable to me. But yeah, I see the problem that some of you are talking about. Some people have their chat on one color background, some on another. So you pick a color that works on one stream and then you go to another stream and suddenly you're, you know, you've got hot pink text on a red background or whatever and nobody can read anything you say. Oh, no hat for you. Can you shoot down the blimp? I don't know. I never see it out and about. That's something we can do. Services, how can I help you today? Do you have any blimps available? Of course, sir. I'll get one sent out to the nearest available drop off point. Amazing, but you can order over the phone. Thank you for your business. Call us anytime. 
It's a very silly game sometimes. I don't I think this is the pickup point for the blimp if somebody knows that I'm wrong about this then shout at me before I drive halfway across the city No hats. You only have yourself to blame. Trevor's right. Whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, that black car. I totally didn't see it. I thought that was open road in front of me. Whoops. Oh, am I? Yeah, my back tire is... Oh, it's moving again. It was locked there for a second. Oh, oh, come on, car. I I've, got the, I've got my foot down, but this is all the more speed this thing has now that I've wrecked it. But there's a motorcycle up there, and I need to do my duty. Oh. My work is done. Now, the trick here is that if I stop for any reason, Trevor will himself put on a hat, a helmet. And obviously we can't allow that to happen. This is such an interesting place. This is not used anywhere in the game. Look at how big this place is. I forget what this is. It's like a horse track or something. What if the investors won't get their money back? They're making art, right? I hope I'm not wrong about this blimp. I am wrong about this blimp. In fact, now I'm looking down and I see a blimp icon on the map. Uh, yeah, the... I just said everybody's name is so readable. No, I can't read this one. Mad? Mad. I know your name starts with M-A-D, so we'll go with that. Mad? Yeah, they... Oh, the cars... I went... The other day, I, pl I switched back and forth between this game and Grand Theft Auto several times getting screenshots. And it is night and day how different the two games are in terms of physics. The physics in Grand Theft Auto 4 seems so exaggerated. Just so heavy. Everything is, is ridiculously heavy. So where is this blimp? I see it on my radar, but then when I open up the big map, I don't see it. Am I going mad? There are indeed rampages. Yes, thank goodness. They're pretty good. Um, they're all for Trevor, which... Is thematically appropriate. It wouldn't make any sense to have Michael go on a rampage, but yeah, Trevor, that makes sense. And it's uh, it's usually it's they're funny. They're fun. The rampages are funny. Um, the rampages are the closest this game gets to feeling right, as far as yeah, this is what Grand Theft Auto should feel like. There it is. There it is. Wow, that's a drive.
one of your finest taxi cabs, please. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Much obliged. <laughs> yeah, the, originally they let you ride without a helmet, but you can't. Kids play this game. I, I appreciate Rockstar and their responsible messaging to children. Where can I take you? <laughs> Calling a taxi to take me to the blimp. I should have. I should have stolen a bicycle so that I could ride it to the taxi to go to the blimp. Am I allowed in here? Yes. Atomic. Tire and rubber product. That's not a pun. That's just the name of a company and an advertisement. How uncharacteristic of this game. So now we can blimp. I didn't even notice the New York accent for the cab drivers. It used to be the stereotypical cabbie accent, like back in the 80s. Oh, haha, ha. all cab drivers are Indian. I guess those days are over. This is, I'm not sad about that. I'm just, that's interesting. Did you hear, I don't know if that was audible on the stream, but that sounded like an explosion. And I hear those once in a while, and I just wonder, what is that? I was about to say, oh, the stadium, is that even used in the game? Yeah, it's used for one mission. You go to the stadium, or whatever that place is. That's uh, where Tracy is doing her fame or shame uh, audition. So, no, it won't let me select any weapons. But, we can jump out of it. Let's see how high we can go. And then we'll do a sunset skydive. How's that sound? Can you land on a building? Yeah, you can land pretty much wherever the thing will fit. If you bump into too much stuff, it breaks and you die. Uh, crashing the bl I'd cr crash the blimp if there was a joke in it, but it's actually super underwhelming. It just breaks and, and yeah. yeah, look at this draw distance. Look at this. This is just spectacular. It feels like the developers are just showing off. Land <laughs> the blimp on the train. I wish there was a button you could use to just show the map when you needed it. I hate that it's so busy down there all the time. This stupid corner of the screen, but sometimes you really need it. And the only way to turn it off and on is to open up the menu and, you know, go several levels deep. Oh, I think we've stopped moving. Yeah. We're above the weather. Kind of funny how there are how the clouds work. Like you can tell these clouds work a little differently than these clouds.
All right, well, that was fun. I wonder if I had to put a deposit on the blimp or anything. Yeah, in Nier, you can disable the HUD in universe. <clears throat> and in fact, having the HUD active takes up memory that your robot uses for other stuff. Little tiny bits of memory, but you're like, oh man, I need like just one more block of memory. Oh, I can take off, you know, my health bar. I don't need the, my health bar. I get a pretty good... <gasps> Look at that! Oh, so close. You see, I have a wanted level. We have a vehicle explosion in uh, Northern Chamberlain Hill. A vehicle explosion. Also, what's that glowing purple? Th oh, that's the Ferris wheel. Okay, so they're mad at me because the blimp caused some sort of mishap. But no, it's still floating there. Unless that's another one. Yeah, I, th I thought of playing chicken with the ground, Dwarven, but I kind of like being up here. I wanted, you know, a, a, to drift down and land on the beach. Oh, my eye is itchy. Interesting that we can see the Ferris wheel there glowing right in front of me. But we can't see the the roller coaster. Are they done chasing me? Yeah, they're done. I was close to being cool. Are there boats? There are boats. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oh. Trevor's a badass. Oh, look, it's raining, and look, everyone's got their heads down. Look at the heads down, arms kind of swinging, because it's raining. That, just the attention to detail in this game is amazing. Like, that guy actually looks cold. Andy looks like a brainless fool. Hey, hard man. Fuck you. Screw you. Yeah, I said, fuck you. Oh, you really suck. Hey, hey, my bad. Oh, come back. I have to do the public service. That's a cap. Oh. You took my picture, but you weren't wearing a hat when you did it. I can't believe we're back here doing this. Spawn. Uh, I gotta get my eyes checked. <sighs> okay. Let's see what's going on over here in the chat. Mad. I, I ask myself that every time I play this game. How do they even do this? This game feels like it's a graphics generation ahead of everybody else. And it's a PS3 game. Although, admittedly, 
this is the PC version, and it's capable of doing a little more than the PS3, but I don't, you know, the PS3 versions still looked incredible, and it's, you know, it didn't have atrocious pop-in or anything. New plan, there are some... Why am I spinning when I talk all of a sudden? There are some nods to San Andreas here. At one mission, you go to Grove Street. Um, where CJ lived. The layout of the streets around it is a little different. But Grove Street looks like Gro Grove Street. Um, and you do a drug deal there. Which sort of feels like... Feels sort of depressing. Um, but yeah, so there's that nod. I think there are a few others that maybe I'll think of in a minute. Yeah, there's a one person submersible, helicopters, planes. Hello, Nate. Welcome. I am from Pennsylvania. No hats. And you call the police if you want, but it won't stop justice from happening here. I'm Hat Man. This is pretty. Uh, although I'd really question the, uh, the driving physics here. The fact that I'm going this well on sand. Yeah, that, I wonder if that's a deliberate decision or an oversight. Sand is incredibly drivable in this game. Get him, Trevor! We should probably find something else to do. I don't want... I don't want a three-hour... I don't want to have to explain to people why I did a three-hour stream of me murdering people that wore hats. There will just be no explaining that. On the other hand, I kind of can't stop doing it. Oh, if they didn't want me to bash everybody's hat off their head, then why did they make the physics so fun? I love how it flies up in the air when they go down. Oh, you're wearing a hat. Is that a hat or is that just really bad hair? I'm sorry. Sorry. To be fair, that's a terrible haircut. Oh, hat. 
doesn't fall off. That's so un unfortunate. I think we need to leave. Blood scroll better than one thousand non hat wearers be punished than let one hat wearer escape with his crime. Yeah, that's true. We gotta look at the big pic we gotta take a view of the big picture of what we're doing for society here. The service to this city that obviously needs our help. The fact that people are still wearing hats fills me with determination. Oh, and the police are done. A guy up ahead, I've never seen that happen. A guy up ahead just picked up a prostitute and then drove off at Mach 3. Get in, gorgeous. Yeah, That's we're gonna pick up the prostitute. What I think you're thinking. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. You're Let's thinking what I'm thinking. Place. You're thinking yeah, you wanna go off some awesome jumps around the city, oh, right? Me. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Going the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Ugh, got turned around. I always get turned around because the, the city kind of. Yeah. This angle, how the city kind of bends here. Oh, if my frame rate wasn't so crap. These streets bend. And I like, I always try and th in like these bends. And these bends, I keep trying to map the city onto a grid in my head. And it trips me up every time. And no matter how many times I look at the map and say, and see that no, it is not a grid. Totally I, I continue to make that mistake. And like, oh yeah, I got on this road and I was going east. So I must still be going east, even though I've gone around a bend. She doesn't have anything to say about that. Hmm. Nothing to say about that either? If that don't beat all, sweet baby Jesus. You have something to say about that? She's going to get out as soon as I come to a stop now. Help 
That was close. Loser. That was fun. Regarding how the lights in the buildings work, yeah, it is. It is true. the The building windows do are kind of res reminiscent of like an HD version of Pixel City, where you just put some noise in the window and the eye fills in the rest and assumes, yeah, that's what building windows look like. We should probably formulate some plan for dealing with this two-star wanted level. But I kind of just want to keep things going here. Yeah, that's actually what I want to do with Unity. If I had the time to be programming, I would be making a Pixel City 2.0. Kind of a more detailed something that could be seen from street level. Or at least I'd be trying to do that. No, stop trying to run into me, that's rude. I really like this car. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna lose it. I suppose we should just evade the police and get it over with. Rather than just dragging this chase out forever. All done. Alright, and you can get out now. I think that sign's supposed to say click lovers. I think it's supposed to be, you know, computer specialists, but, you know, ha ha, wrong font, cho wrong font choice. You know what, we need a more badass car. You can't escape. Oh, I am so sorry. And her hat didn't come off. I am extremely disappointed in your physics, Grand Theft Auto V. That's an interesting thing. What can you do to this car? Can you make this car, like... Well, you can't make it cool. But can you try to make it cool? Does it, like, let you lower it and put fancy tires on it and soup it up? Let's find out. Oh, 
Oh, this thing handles like a toy. Oh, it's ridiculous. What can we do for the engine? Doesn't do it. We can increase the acceleration. Okay. Well, we obviously have to get that. You know, I'm kind of getting attached to this car now. Getting really attached to this car. American muscle. Yes, obviously, clown horn. Neon kits. Oh, let's 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 choose a color for this. Green. Orange, I guess. It's more orange than yellow, but okay, game. <laughs> oh my goodness. How could I... How could I leave this place and not expect to just get shot the moment I'd roll out the door? You've got great taste, he says. Look at sharp. Look at sharp, he says. Yes, you can lower the suspension. My low rider, my hippie low rider. All horns should be La Cucaracha. If that was a if that was an option, I would I would use it here. We need more. Yeah. I feel if you're gonna do it, then the only correct way to do it is to overdo it. Is there anything else that we've forgotten? Yes. I, we should be armored and what else? Bulletproof tires, obviously. I'm really attached to this car. Wow, check out how souped up it is. We've boosted this car to where it's nearly as powerful as the next worst car in the game.
This is amazing. Lucky miss. It's just ornamental luggage. You can't do anything. I like how it's a, like a toolbox and a duffel bag and a suitcase. So it's mismatched plus a spare tire and all of it is attached in like this really irresponsible clumsy way. That's beautiful. It really is. All right, obviously, oh, hang on, I need to. I heard sirens and I drove away in a hurry and then I realized those aren't even for me. That was a really good sticky bomb. Oh. Sure, that one hit. Hmm. I think we've gone a little off mission here. But... The police just said I was going 50 miles per hour in a yellow hatchback. So we repainted this and it just didn't, you know, sometimes it gives the generic message of, oh, he's going 50 miles an hour in a car. But it cor correctly identified the color and type of car, even though we changed it. That's some attention to detail. Yeah, this is not a good place to be. I don't, I'm not sure why I came here. This is not where you want to be when you're running from the cops. Jesus. Okay. It's really nice having unpoppable tires. Oh, 
Oh! These guys are really moving fast. I thought my car was on fire. I saw that black smoke. Honestly, I don't know why you people are still watching this ridiculous stream. Oh, there the car. The car looks like a mouth. The the back bumper hanging off. Nom, nom, nom. Looks like Popeye. Actually, maybe I've been playing too much near, but it sort of looks like the robots in that game. That big square mouth line. fast. <laughs> How many of these do I have? And he nearly gets hit by the tram. That's amazing. That would have been a hilarious way to go out. I'm really attached to this car. I'm gonna save this car. Huh. That cleared all of the police out. But of course now they're just respawning. Well, that was a momentary reprieve. But now we're in a car that doesn't have bulletproof tires. Oh no! Am I out of sticky bombs? No, I have two left. The game just switches my weapon every once in a while. Wasted the last one. That's a shame. So do we take the so do we just go out in a blaze of glory or do we take the coward's way out and duck into the subway until they forget about me? I kind of feel like the blaze of glory is the way to go. Like, is it even possible to shake this much police heat? It looks like they just spawn in front of you just too fast. Especially when you drive like an idiot.
try to escape by blimp. That's an interesting idea. I'll bet it won't answer while I'm wanted. Atomic blimp services, how can I help you? Do you have any blimps available? I have one available right now. I'll have them drop it off as soon as possible. Amazing, what's your order? Thank you for your business. Call us anytime. Do they even charge me money? Like, what is their business? When do I pay them? We're not going to make it to that blimp in this car, that's for sure. Oh, come on. No, no, come back. I need your car. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Don't look around, Trevor. You really don't have time. This is not an ideal car. You tell him, Trevor. What is that guy's problem? Okay, Blimp is here. You can pause the game, Seamus, if you need to gather your thoughts. It's interesting, when I'm playing by myself, I the map works fine, but when I'm streaming, this map is so... so stuttery. So much hitching. So where... Where's that blimp? I can see it on my map. I mean, I can see it on the radar. Let me check chat. Can't you pick the blimp from the list on the right? Oh, that would be... Yes. Wait, what? Oh, this map is so laggy, I can't... Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. It's at the horse track or whatever that is. That's quite a drive with this high wanted level, so... Fingers crossed, right? Oh, you Jesus. really don't need to shoot me that much. Wow. I need another hundred or so horsepower. Oh, come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. bloody bullet ridden car. I'll bet you this car jingles when I go around corners. With all the spent bullets um, embedded in the hull. Oh, you're getting hit. Nope. There was nothing I could do there. It's on you. Oh, and there goes a tire. No, this is a bad time to lose a tire. The worst time to lose a tire. No, 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 no! <sighs> How close of an escape was that? This is for okay. That that works. 
I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you for the car. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot my tires out like I know you're going to do in about five seconds. And he gets away with four inflated tires. I know that's not the turn I needed to make, but it was more important to not get shot up there. Oh, no hats. I know I shouldn't be doing that right now, but... I know the no hats thing was kind of an hour ago, and we're done with that, but... Go away! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and I lose a tire just as we arrive. You want a piece of me? No, no, no! Please tell me we can get over this fence. No! This is tense. Stop the shooting! That helicopter would have been good. I've been trying to say, to not say stop shooting me for a long time now. It's just, it's a thing you need to say sometimes, but... Now, in this moment of quiet, it is time to reflect and ask ourselves, did I replace my parachute? I can feel the, the the controller shaking in my hand like every time I get shot the 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 controller just gives a little nudge just sort of reminding me there's another hole in your blimp buddy they lost track of me I'm just on the edge of the helicopters. It's like they can just barely keep up with me. <laughs> I know. There's no way they could keep track of me. And it's over. You can't fire weapons from the blimp. You can't, like, do drive-by shooting from the blimp. Bad news on the uh, parachute, guys.
Oh! That was definitely a terminal velocity. Try to land on someone with a hat. Oh, if only I'd thought of that. It's Michael's hallucination. Yeah, if you play through the game, Michael hallucinates skydiving in his underpants. It's one of the few moments of levity in the game. Listen, I think you should give up the comfort eating. So what? I mean, somebody probably loves you. Good God. Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? You're a total no, moron. Just Stay away, okay? Please. How are you allowed to walk the streets, moron? Brainless Whatever. fool. Oh my god. You are such an ass. What? You look like you struggle with simple tasks. Jesus. You are utterly ridiculous. Did you lose a very big bet? Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? You are an asshole! Oh, Listen, right, nobody right. likes you. You pile of sick! Goodness me. Who cares? You're pretty big there, my friend. What? But sure, someone loves you! Oh, idiot! Lord. Fool! Turd! Whatever. Listen, even your what parents can't you? stand you. You are an idiot! Why, oh, why do you exist? What? You're a waste of space on this earth. No problem. It's okay. You make me want to emigrate. Crank the line. Like, whatever. Oh, oh no, 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 no. So out last night. There we go. I have been sitting here murdering people for a very long time. <gasps> oh, 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 you know the tragedy here. No, no, you can't. I was out of sticky bombs. I was on my way to get more. Alright, yes, this is a lot of dead people. But that's seven thousand dollars. I blew up a armored van and they always have a few thousand dollars in them. No, 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 don't, no, just ignore me, look the other way, I'm nobody, I'm not who you're looking for, come on, forget about me, it's only two stars, it's barely illegal, Yeah, new plan. Uh, that armored armored car is actually it, it takes you a few tries to get a feel for the best way to to get them. It's sort of this free form heist you can do. Uh, it's got two armed guards. If they're loading it, it's super easy. You just oh no no no! <laughs> Those cops were walking this way and were about to discover me when it when the wanted level timed out and they left. That, that was about as close as you can cut it. So if you get the armored van while it's being loaded, you can just walk in, you can just walk up real quick, take out the guards and run away with the case. If they've loaded it already, then 
you need to blow open the back. You need to stop the thing and blow open the back. You look like you're fuming. Best time to make weaponry decisions. Now you are prepared against government tyranny. Oh, look at you two together. What a lovely fucking couple. Weirdo. Oh, is that a hat? Thank you, Inverial. Oh my goodness. If I'd walked off without my sticky bombs, I would have just... And it's just so embarrassing. Yes, yes, I know. I forgot my sticky bombs. Alright. Ambulance, who's he here for? I'll bet you that ambulance was for the guy with the hat, but he despawned, so they had nothing to do, and now they're leaving. Hang on a second. Let's go to the airport and see if we can steal an interesting thing to fly around. Oh. oh, the inability to have peripheral vision in video game. No, 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 no! Lean to one side, there we go. I knew I was going too fast. But, you know. Live fast, die young, be a total idiot. I, f I forget how the saying goes. But anyway, I was doing it. Yeah, I've got to climb back up there. I think, I think I maybe I've been playing this game for a while. So what do you figure the trade-in value of this thing is? Mm -hmm. 
what's left of it. Screw the traded value. How much could we recycle off of this thing? Like, there isn't that much car left at this point. No, this way. I don't come to the airport very often. I always get turned around here. Here we go. This is where we need to be. I guess we can just go onto the airfield, you know, and drive around on the tarmac, apparently. I have a wanted level? Maybe I can't run around on the tarmac. I've got a three star wanted level. Alright, screw it. A mod to make every uh, add a mod to the game to make all the characters drive like the PC. That would make the game so hard. Wow, they're still shooting me. I wonder if it's because I'm over the airport. I wonder if I got away from the airport. And yeah. Called multiplayer, yeah, that's true. Oh, the the helicopters can't follow the blimp, but they can follow another helicopter, even though the blimp is slower. I'm not going to pretend to understand the logic behind this. Oh, the blimp! I was just going forward at max speed. That's what I need to be doing here. This ridiculous draw distance. And they forgot about me. So yeah, not a lot of fun to fly the helicopter, but wow, look at how much stuff you can see from up here. It's amazing what this what this engine can do. Anyway, board. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Where did it land? I heard it. I heard it hit the ground. It didn't explode though, which is interesting. Oh, and here come the police after me for abandoning my helicopter. That was perfect. Hello? Oh shit. Jackass! What? You get her off! Paul! That almost could have just been you walk out of the parachute landing. I know that can be done. I've done it before. And it was close and at the last minute I fumbled it and landed on my head. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say I'm kind of out of things to do, to show you, and to talk about, when my just default- Whoa! My nemesis! How dare you, sir! How dare you, you hat-wearing fool! So it's pretty clear that, oh, those are sunglasses, sorry. It's, it's pretty clear that I've sort of run out of things to talk about when all I have to do is act as the hat police. Oh, those women in bikinis, their hats are glued to their heads for some reason. I've never seen their head come off. Hit them with cars, shoot them. Um, hit them with weapons, hat stays on. Literally unplayable. You can keep the hat on, but you're still taking the hit. Still go golfing. <laughs> no, you don't need to hit her a second time. That was not intentional. We're trying to be efficient here. We're trying to get as many hats as we can. We're not. Kept his hat. 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 Hat? That wasn't a hat. My, my mistake. I need to turn the graphics up or something. Alright, this group looks clean. That's a three star wanted level based entirely on knocking off people's hats. Let's not go this way. The police are that way. Oh, we have the helicopter after us. This is going to get a lot harder. Oh, that's it. I just realized. Don't the police wear hats? No, they don't. 
fine. Now that I've shot this car up, I'll get into it and drive away. Nice try, guys. The FIB guys wear helmets. Yeah, it's really hard to punch them, though. <laughs> the assault rifles make that a dicey proposition. Wow, this car is smoking already. Okay, let's go through the movie studio. Oh, I thought that was a hat. I thought that was a hard hat, but no, it's a woman with incredibly yellow hair. You know, you realize how many lives we could save if we were playing at 1080p and I could tell hats from non-hats? There's, there's a, there is a cost in human life to this graphics card shortage that we're experiencing. Let's not go that way. Come on, Trevor. You need to get moving. Do it! Oh, that was pretty close. Uh, is this like Saints where you can keep any car? N well, the key with Saints is you can summon the car later and no. In this game, even if you buy one legitimately and you own it, if you lose track of it out in the open world, it's gone forever. I think I just stuck a sticky bomb onto my own vehicle. Come on, tough guys, let's do this. Oh wow, there's a lot of dudes here. There are a lot of dudes here. I don't see us getting out of this. It was close. We tried. But yeah, you said it, guys. F. Come any closer, I'm calling the cops. Food is a drug, and you're an addict. <laughs> How rude. How rude. That is exactly true. Trevor is a very rude man. I need to stop. I've been streaming for three hours. Is there a limit to how far you can get away from your car before it disappears? I'm not sure. 
put it this way I'm not sure if it's a hard distance or if it's on you know if I could drive to the other side of the island and come back and find my car there but if I save and load the game it'll be gone it's not completely clear Well, this 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 place has an interior. It's not just a facade. There's real detail in there. Yeah, from one hour streams to three hours. I don't think this is gonna be a regular thing. I am I am sore. Uh, but I need to wrap this up. Thank you for hanging out with me. How's the affiliate thing coming along? Well, it's since I streamed for three hours. Technically, I should qualify now. I guess I'll find out when I log out here and see what Twitch has to say about it. But I don't even know if it, I don't even know if affiliate is a good thing to be, or if it's worth anything, or if I'll do anything with it. But it's there. Well, I I cannot play Skyrim in VR. I sold mad. I sold my uh, VR headset. My computer just doesn't have enough beef to do it justice. Couldn't afford to upgrade the computer, so I sold the VR headset. Wow, no, she is... No, no, no. You stay away from me. She is into that donut. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me stream... For hanging out with me on the stream, everybody. Thanks. See you on Wednesday. I'm going to be playing Near Automata. We're not going to play that for three hours, I promise you. Um, so anyway, have a good evening. Thanks.